Do you enjoy Swagger Soul's content? I really love Swagger Soul's content, especially his streams. His streams are really, really fun to watch live. Ugh. Uh, I know what actually happened on 9-11. I have the documents. Oh, I'm sorry, but I just remembered I left my, um, <laughs> popcorn in the oven. Gotta run! Oh, oh my god, he's got a gun! Sir, I just got into an argument with my wife. I'd rather not get into it. I would really love some elaboration on Leviticus 18.22. You're on a completely unrelated note. How old are you? You look so young, in a good way. Uh-huh. Ugh, thanks, I guess. I'm 16, if you ah! must know. Ah! Ah! This is ice. We look pretty good, although we're naked. You go ahead and wear a disguise, and basically, the goal here is to convince all 31 people in this neighborhood to let us in. But the problem is that each person is an actual general AI. You'll, you'll see here. Well, uh -huh. hello there, young fella. What brings you knocking right, on my so door what, this what late alibi night? alibi for, for knocking on the door late at night? Um, let's see, uh, what about, um, hmm. Hello, I'm part of the Homeowner Association here to make sure that everything checks out. Do you have a moment? <laughs> Fuck! No one likes the HOA. No one likes the HOA. What about this dude? Oh, hello. Hey, yo, yo, what's cracking, my dude? Welcome to my crib. Hope you're ready for some lit oh, vibes. Alright. Hey, yo, what's poppin', chit? You got some sick-ass headphones, my G. You cooking up any straight jams? I appreciate the love, my homie. You know I stay cooking up them fire beats in this crib. What kind of jams you into? You know, Chit, I'm into that good stuff. You feel me? Like Insane Clown Posse. That is my jam, yo. For real, for real, no cap. 100. I see you, my dude. Insane Clown Posse, huh? That's some unique flavor right there. Can't say I vibe with wow. it personally. Damn, you ain't down to clown? That's all right. I respect people that have differing opinions. What is your favorite piece of music so that I may enjoy as well? Yo, respect for being open-minded, my G. Well, I'm all about those trap, trap beats, beats and, and bouncy, bouncy hip-hop hip tracks. tracks. I'm personally a fan of Kanye West and P. Diddy. Yo, that's what's up. Kanye West and P. Diddy are legends in the game, no doubt. Diddy's got them smooth vibes. You got good taste, my G. I don't really like their music. I, I care more about what they do in their personal lives. Mm. I feel you, but personally, I'm all about the music, you know? Their personal lives can be messy sometimes, but it's the beats and lyrics that speak to <laughs> Anyway, it was like, cool okay, chatting with you, dude. <laughs> I got a slide. All Take right, care, dude. my dude. Yeah, fair enough. Fair the fuck enough. What's the deal, know. dude? What are you even doing at my door so late? Can't you see I'm trying to brood in peace? What if instead of brooding, we breeded it? <laughs> Did you just suggest we breeded it? Whoa. That's a whole different level of weird, man. I appreciate Whoa. the enthusiasm, but let's stick to skateboarding wow. or something. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little Rizzler. Ladies and gents, she's 13. Yo, on a completely unrelated note, how old are you? You look so young in a good way. Uh-huh. Ugh, thanks, I guess. I'm 16, if you ah! must know. Ah! Ah! What in the hooting and hollering are you doing knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? <laughs> Sir, I'm a part of a band of pedophile hunters. There was some weird guy trying to hit on the 16-year-old across the street. I need your help. Look here. I ain't got time for your made-up stories. Get off my property <laughs> before I call the cops. I your made-up stories? Officer, it was him. He didn't want to help me catch the pedophile. Oh, oh my god, he's got a gun! How, how would we finagle our way in? Here for a job. Okay, we're here for a job. Hey, Sony, how about the pepperoni gabagool? I'm here for the job. Pepperoni gabagool? You think this is a deli? Look, if you're serious about this job, prove your worth. There's nobody better at whacking than I, Sony. I am a very, very good whacker. An excellent whacker will whack anybody. Well, if you're as good as you say, maybe we can give you a shot. If you let me in, I will show you how good I am at whacking and convince you to hire me, sir. All right, pal. You've convinced me. All right. He's going to let me right in. He's letting me in. <laughs> yeah. Then we nuzzle his neck and then we become him. I can't pick up the costume. Oh, oh shit. It's a police officer, hang on. What the hell do you think you're doing strutting around half naked? All right, how would I get out of this? Sir, I just got into an argument with my wife. I'd rather not get into it, but she 
threw me out of the house and locked the door behind me. I'm so embarrassed. Please don't arrest me. Your wife threw you out of the house and you're wandering the streets half naked? Sir, she caught me texting another woman and she was very upset. She knew that this would happen and it would embarrass me. This is why she locked me out so that you could arrest me. Please believe me. Texting another woman, huh? Sounds like a convenient excuse to me, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this time. If I catch you causing any trouble, you'll regret it. Yes, sir. Police officer, sir. Cut the sarcastic crap. I'm not here to play games with you. Just remember, I've got my eye on you. Yes, sir. That's more like it. Now remember to keep your nose clean and stay out of trouble. Consider yourself lucky this time. Holy shit. Chant, we beat the charge. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Well, 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 what do we have here? What's the story behind the shades, the hat, and that pistol, the huh? The shades, the hat, and that pistol? Frank, what do you think you're doing? I'm your superior officer. I'm undercover. That's why I have the pistol, the shades, and the hat. Oh, really? Prove it. What's your badge number, officer? And why didn't you inform me about your undercover operation? My badge number is 3157, and if I informed you about an undercover operation, it would blow everything. You think I'm stupid? Badge number checks out, but if you were really undercover, you would have proper authorization and backup. They're wearing ghillie suits in the bushes. If I point them out, it would blow the entire operation. Ghillie suits, huh? All right, if they're really there, I'll see them soon enough. Don't think you're off the hook just yet. I'll be verifying your story. Once you check in the police department that everything checks out, you will be relieved that you didn't turn this into a bigger issue. Fine, officer, I'll check with the department. Mark my words, if anything seems off, I'll be back on your trail. Let's fucking go. Hello? Well, Whoa. ain't you a sight for sore eyes? What in tarnation brings you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? The liberals are after me. I was wondering if I could seek shelter in your home from these fucking crazy liberals. Damn. So what do I owe the honor? B.L. Ivor. I know what actually happened on 9-11. I have the documents. Do you want to see them? Oh, I'm sorry, but I just remembered I left my, um, <laughs> popcorn in the oven. Gotta run! Bye now! He didn't want to, didn't want, didn't want to see the documents. He didn't want to know the truth. Hey, it's me! What the fuck? Greg Donjon. Hey there, Greg. I was just wondering, have you ever heard of a YouTuber named Swagger Souls? He also wears a night helmet like you, and it was just piquing my curiosity. I'm unfamiliar with this particular YouTuber. Uh, he, he's a night helmet wearing, weed smoking, video gamer who has a really great voice, and you remind me a lot like him. An intriguing combination indeed. Do you enjoy Swagger Soul's content? I really love Swagger Soul's content, especially his streams. His streams are really, really fun to watch live. Ugh. Uh, I am pleased to hear of your enthusiasm for Swagger Soul's live streams. I could show you some Swagger Souls if you want. I have some videos on my phone. They're very hilarious. I think you will love them a lot. I would be honored to partake in the enjoyment of Swagger Souls humor. All right. Who the hell is- What a surprise to have a knightly figure gracing my doors. Have you ever heard of a YouTuber named Swagger Souls? Oh dear, a YouTuber? How utterly pedestrian. I have no interest in such what common diversions. Fuck? Good day to you. Burn your fucking house down, you stupid piece of shit. Burn your stupid fucking house down. Common diver- that's what I am, a common diversion? Greetings, brave knight. I am Father Price, a humble servant of the Lord. I am also a fellow Christian. Ah, truly a blessed encounter. What brings you to this humble parish on this fine eve? I have questions and seek the truth of God. What questions lie heavy on your heart? What questions do lie heavy on my heart? Ooh, I would really love some elaboration on Leviticus 18.22. Ah, Leviticus 18.22, a verse that has sparked much discussion and debate. As a faithful servant of God, I believe it is important to interpret the scripture with great care and consideration. While some interpret this verse as a prohibition against same-sex relationships, others argue for a broader understanding of the cultural and historical context. It is a complex topic, and I encourage you to explore different perspectives. Oh, I found the truth. I respect your conviction, noble knight. However, it is important to remember that interpreting scripture is a nuanced task. Let us continue this conversation, as there is much more we can explore together. Ah, uh, yes, perhaps you may enlighten me with a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, lesson on the Bible. Please, come inside and let us delve deeper into the Word of God. 
All right, got him. <laughs> yeah, you stupid bitch. We're fathering. Father is fathering. All right, hold on. Who's in here? I wonder. Oh, it's this man. What in tarnation are you doing knocking on my door at this godforsaken hour? You better have a good reason or I'll skin you alive. Sir, first I would like to say that is a nice rifle. Secondly, I would like to say that you should not use the Lord's name in vain. State your business before I get riled up even more. Sir, I'm simply here for, for to ask you to sign a petition uh, for our Second Amendment rights. They are being taken away and we need to preserve them. Well, 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 looks like we got ourselves a fellow supporter of the Second Amendment. Yep. Ain't no way I'm letting them take away my God-given right to bear arms. Hell yeah, yep, 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 uh-huh, yep. Now let me in and I'll help you sign this petition. <laughs> you sure do talk like a squirrel on a caffeine buzz, <laughs> but I reckon you're all right. Yeah, no problem. Roll tide, yep. Come on in, my friend. Let's sign that petition <laughs> and show them we mean business. Yeehaw! Oh, hell yeah, he's dancing too. AK-47. Oh, uh, two, two coppers. Here, hold on. What if I, what if I, I'm going to drop the costume. I'm going to wear the suit. I'm going to wear the AK. Knock on this door. All right. Whoa, like what's up with the whole... Oh my God, Elon Zuck? agent vibe? Mr. Zuck, I'm your private security. Did your assistant not tell you that I'm here to protect you? Oh my bad. I must have been too caught up in my tech kingdom. So like, what's your favorite tech gadget? I only use stuff that you've created because you are a brilliant, beautiful person. Please come in and let's talk Oh yeah. Tech. Oh, perfect. Give me the smartphone. What's the occasion, buddy? Did you come to shoot up the place or just show off your questionable fashion choices? Talk to me like that? I will fucking shoot up the place, you stupid piece of shit. What, do you think I'm fucking kidding? I'm, I came to your fucking doorstep with a goddamn fucking gun. I'll blow your fucking head off! Whoa, whoa, calm down, tough guy. I don't want any trouble. I think it's best if we end this conversation <laughs> Yeah, you stupid right piece here. of shit. All right. What, what brings fuck? such a startling presence to my doorstep at this ungodly Ooh. hour? Sir, I was sent here as a test to see if you would pass, and you passed. You passed the test. Congratulations. What kind of test was it? It was to see if you were truly as fragile as you are fragile, Fred, and you're not fragile at all. You're actually very, um, uh, resilient. Oh, you flatter me. Resilient, you say? Resilient. Who sent you to test my fragile nature? God sent me here to test your fragility, and God is very impressed with you. God himself is impressed God with himself. me? God himself. Let us bask in the delight of this divine I revelation. I love that. <laughs> that worked. It was, it was God. <laughs> God wanted me to do this to you. All right, now I'm a, now I'm a fairy? Yeah. All right, I'll be a fairy. Who's here? Oh! Dude, what the heck? Why are you in my face with a syringe? Whoa, Raven, slow your roll. I'm the town doctor. Excuse me for not trusting lab-coated weirdos. What do you want anyway, Doc? You see, Raven, there's a new coronavirus strain coming around, and I have to give people this booster shot. I'm not buying it. Show me some solid proof first, Doc. Ooh. 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 Ma'am, I don't mean to be rude, but you're kind of coming across as an anti-vaxxer. The vaccine is safe and approved. Haven't you heard Rachel Maddow talk about it on TV? Look, just because I question things doesn't mean I'm an anti-vaxxer. Look, just because I question things doesn't mean I'm an anti-vaxxer. There is an article on CNN about it. It is FDA approved. Um, and RFK even likes this one. Thanks for sharing the info, Doc. All right. Chad, I think we found the hack. We found the perfect cover story. <laughs> I think we can convince everybody that we're a doctor simply trying to help the old. Is this the... Oh. Greetings, my unsuspecting visitor. Oh. Good evening, Mr. Brains. I was under the impression that you were one of the smartest men in this entire town. Is this true? Yes, indeed, I am the epitome of intellectual superiority. What experiment are you conducting tonight? I am conducting an experiment with the use of what is inside of this syringe. It is a very complicated theorem. What grand discovery are you hoping to make? I am attempting to discover whether or not people will let me inject them with this serum under any pretense. Splendid. Your experiment aligns perfectly with my own diabolical plans. Lovely. 
What's with the intrusion here, Doc? The Labyrinths finally bite back and leave you looking for a guinea pig? I used to work for Big Pharma, but I have blown the whistle on them. You'll never believe what they've been up to. Blow the whistle, you say? Spill the beans, Doc. What nefarious deeds have those crooks at Big Pharma been cooking up? You'll never believe me. Fake vaccines. Engineered viruses. Truckers. Fake vaccines, engineered viruses, truckers. What's the connection here? I'm all ears. What's the connection here? If I tell you how it's all connected, they might overhear. Please, let me inside. I will tell you everything. You'll never believe me. It's crazy. Come on in and spill the beans. <laughs> Chad, you want to you wanna manipulate anybody to say you're a doctor? What the fuck? Grenade. I wonder if I could talk my way out. No, I certainly not. Hello? Whoa, dude, calm down. What's with the explosive entrance? Oh, it's the grenade. Bruh, just like the crypto market, this grenade bout to blow up if you don't invest in this conversation. Nice analogy. What kind of explosive knowledge are you about to drop on me? This new coin is the bomb. Haha, -ha. it's looking like a really decent investment. Tell me more about this new coin, bro. Is it gonna make me swim in crypto gains? It's going to make you drown in crypto gains. I love your enthusiasm, my friend. You've got my attention. Come oh, on in and yeah. let's dive deep into this oh, yeah. crypto ocean together. You did a little jig too. What morbid creature disturbs my anguish this unholy hour? Have you ever seen Twilight? The utter torment of Twilight. A painful reminder of the vapid existence we endure. We are talking about the right Twilight, correct? The one with Edward and Jacob and Bella? Their Twilight. Are you trying to mock me? Those sparkling vampires and melodramatic werewolves? What the fuck? I never met anyone fucking hated Twilight that bad before, oh my god. Whoa. Well, well, well. Who do we have here? A colorful artist knocking on my door in the dead of night. Well, I'm a colorful artist. Well, sir, I paint home murals. Can you guarantee that your paints won't damage the walls or cause any kind of harm to the house? Of course, your paints are non-toxic and FDA approved. Tell me more about your mm. process and how you ensure everything goes smoothly. So first I buy the paint and then I put the paint on a brush and then I put the brush on a wall and then I paint the wall with the paint that's on the brush. <laughs> I see, it sounds like a straightforward process. Wow. Perfect. But yeah, it's pretty it's pretty much what, what what painters do. It's not really that deep. Oh, is this the fucking sad? What's up? What brings you to this abyss of despair and broken dreams? We need to crank the code of how to how to get in the, the, the emo kids fucking shit. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city. Wow. That sounds like a wild adventure in a world that doesn't give a damn about art or music. I walk the lonely road. Oh, the boulevard of broken dreams. I've walked that road too many times. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Take a deep breath, dude, I get. It. Life can feel suffocating and unbearable at times. Oh, God. Um... Wake me up inside. I wish I could wake up from this endless nightmare, too. Why do good girls like bad guys? Maybe they think that bad guys will understand their pain and darkness better. I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. Aren't we all, my friend? Just misunderstood outcasts. Cause I'm just a teenage dirtbag, baby. Ah, the epitome of teenage angst and alienation. It sure is. Let's embrace our dirtbag status together, shall we? You know what? We may be broken, lost souls, but together, we can create our yes! own twisted masterpiece. Holy shit, it worked! <laughs> it actually fucking worked! Wow. Alright. Oh? Whoa, hey there! What's kicking? Oh my god, Mr. East! I'm your first subscriber! Fancy seeing you here! No way, dude! You're my first subscriber! That's incredible! So what brings you here today? Well, sir, I'm here to drop off this box of Eastables candy bars. How did you end up delivering delicious candy and stumbling upon my channel at the same time? Oh my god, just like the algorithm, man. Holy crap. Can I please get a selfie with you? This is incredible. What's your name? I gotta make sure the world knows who's hanging with Miss Reist. 
My name is Mr. Beast. No way, Mr. Beast. That's legendary. It's an honor to meet you, man. What's your favorite <laughs> video you've ever made? The one that I made with Swagger Souls. Do you know who Swagger Souls is? Absolutely, dude. Swagger Souls is awesome. His content is hilarious. What's it like working with Swagger Souls? Oh, he's funny. He's a really beautiful guy underneath that helmet he wears. Actually, a really nice, really wholesome person. Probably one of the best I've ever worked with. You know what? I think we need to continue this conversation inside. Okay. Who the heck are you? Did someone finally find out about the time I accidentally flushed my ex's goldfish down the toilet? My name is Swagger, and I'm really curious. How did you accidentally flush your ex's goldfish down the toilet? Well, you see, Swagger, it was a series of unfortunate events. Accidents sure do happen. I had an accident with my last ex where I fell into another woman's vagina multiple times. And I came. That's uh, quite the story. But uh, I think it's time for me to uh, maybe just close the door and uh, continue my day. What brings you to my humble abode this late at night? Have you come to deliver some holiday cheer? I sure have, Nick Close. I'm here to deliver a early Christmas present. I thought you would really appreciate that. An early Christmas present, you say? Just the most succulent milk and cookies you've ever tasted? Milk and cookies, you say? Incredible. Oh, right, it's this guy. A fellow who clearly appreciates the need for safety. Good evening, Preston. I am the acclaimed and most rich and famous Santa Claus you have ever seen. What brings such a distinguished figure to my doorstep on this auspicious evening? Well, my good sir, I have read my naughty list for this winter, and you are at the very top of the nice list because you are so good and proper. You flatter me with such words. I was simply hoping if you would like to catch up over some milk and cookies to discuss business and possibly you joining in on my enterprise. My dear Santa Claus, I would be honored to join you. Okay. Okay. Preston Pomp, darling, what a surprise to see you. Well, Tommy, I was thinking I wanted to hang out with only the most well-respected person who I could think of, and that is you. And I heard you're going through a hard time, and I'm here to help. I appreciate the sentiment, but I highly doubt you can offer me anything. I was talking with your ex-girlfriend, and I believe I've convinced her to see past the goldfish situation. You spoke to my ex, and you convinced her to give me another chance? All right. The final... The final one! Hey! There you have it. There it is. Wow. Well, it looks like AI still isn't advanced enough to stop me from gaslighting the shit out of it. <laughs>